following in the wake of the dispersion of, of the world with dictators, war, and plumes of war, a ravaging plague has visited the earth. The purple death that leaves only a purple spot on the forehead of its victim. The world's greatest scientists have assembled to combat this mysterious malady. The crowd outside is demanding news, Professor Colton. There's nothing new that I can tell them. Yes, sir. It's coming over. They got through. Warriors. 
Prince Baron's kingdom. Oh, look, there's Prince Baron's palace. Stand by the lamp. as soon as your rocket ship was described. Well, receiving us with strong bows. We must always be on guard against some trick of Ming. Ming. And he is alive. Yes, and rules more ruthlessly than ever. And Dora, is she well? Yes, and very happy. Come on, see for yourself when she was chasing the hunt. Professor Zarkov's rocket ship, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. The plunge toward the planet Earth completely out of control. Good. Very good. Then the Earth will still be ignorant as to the source of the purple death. That is all. Agenda, what brings you up from my laboratories? I ask your permission, sir, to perform a laboratory test upon these selected prisoners. Your Majesty, I demand to know why I and the thousands of others with me are held prisoners in your filthy concentration camps. Plotted with your queen, Freya, to refuse my demands. You meet the same fate as all those who oppose me. And now, Gentle, what manner of test did you in mind that requires the living subjects for experimentation? In your laboratory, sire, I have perfected the death test. Perfected? It, it is already capable of killing every living creature, of depopulating the universe. That's just it, sire. At present, it kills everything, everybody. Yes. Go on. Wouldn't it be better, sire, if the Purple Death spared those millions of slaves to labor for you and killed only those with intelligence enough to oppose you? You can name your own reward if you can prove this to me. Tonight, sire. Tonight, in the power room, I assure you. I'll be there. You see, my friend, Ming has captured my General Lupi. And I vow to spare nothing until he's rescued. I have an idea, Your Highness. While Zarkov and I are destroying Ming's power rooms, your men could rescue General Lupi. But if we should fail, and Ming discovers our plot... Why, he would destroy our Boria, even at the risk of killing his own daughter, Nora. To aid you, my friend, Baron and I will take that chance. But you won't have to if we all go dressed as Phrygians. Well, then he would attack Phrygia. No. His soldiers would freeze. Only we Phrygians possess the secret of enduring our country's extreme cold. An important reply from Captain Tudin, Your Highness. Captain Tudin is command of Ming's palace guards. However, he is still loyal to me, and I have means of contacting him unknown to me. With the war in my power to help your cause. General Luby to be executed with other prisoners tonight. Faithfully, Captain Tudin. We'll make our final plans on the way. Dale, you stay here with Queen Freer. Final. Oh, a uh, flash. Yes? Captain Broker. Captain Broker? I'd be pleased if you'd accept him as your aide and companion. One of my ablest officers. Thank you, Baron. I'm sure he is. I welcome this chance to help you. I remember that had it not been for what you accomplished on your first trip here, there would be no free man on Mongo. Ha! I had plenty of help, Broker. And I needed it. Well, I'll delay you no longer. Goodbye and a safe return. Thank you, Baron.
should land near the entrance of the abandoned drain tunnel. Our ship can be well concealed there. I remember the place. When the tunnel gates are opened, you will be able to get through to the power rooms. In the rays of that special test light inside the cabinet fire, you will be able to see the death dust as it enters the chamber. Mark, bring in the prisoners! Follow me to the tunnel entrance. This man of low intellect has a type of mind that is easily controlled by a superior will. And this man has a type of thinking brain that exercises a will of its own. A type we must destroy. Sire, there is no dictator in the universe powerful enough to destroy human thought. Place them in the dust chamber. Carrying out Captain Sudan's instructions, Count Coro and I will leave you here. Permit ourselves to be arrested by Ming's guards. Good luck. Ready, Your Majesty. Intellect is safe. A significant demonstration, don't you think, General Lupi? We will see now how well it works on a Phrygian nobleman. Mog, place him in the chamber. Probably some trouble in the prison ward, you sire. No. That alarm meant that someone had been captured. They were captured, forcing entrance into the palace, sir. They wear the uniforms of Phrygian soldiers. Phrygian soldiers, huh? Send them directly to me for questioning. Delay the demonstration. Come quickly. You may return to your posts. I'll question the prisoners in private. Run. So far, so good, Captain Sudan. Prince Baron got your message. I would do anything for Prince Baron. This is Count Coral of Phrygia. A couple more minutes, and I'm going to search for them. The others are at the mouth of the abandoned tunnel. I understand, Captain, that the gates barricading the tunnel are operated from this control room. Brown, I've got the Captain Sudan, all right. Go ahead. Now, Captain, how can you aid us in liberating the Phrygian prisoner, General Lupi? Our Imperial Majesty. Two Phrygians, what are they doing here? I have been questioning them, sire. They came at the command of Queen Freya to attempt the rescue of General Lupi. Intelligent-looking specimens. Let us put the intelligence of all three to the test. My death dust will decide whether or not they are to live. Take these two prisoners to the pit room at once. At least you're still alive. But not for long, my friends. Hey, Gender, I have brought you some new prisoners to experiment with. It means private laboratory. It is. I was right, Flash. The death dust is a development of the thing Ming was working on when I was here before. You must stay here and destroy this equipment. All right. We'll go on to the power room. the end. I'm sorry I was the cause of your capture and death. Mob, place them in the dust chamber. Turn on the death dust. Flash Gordon! You didn't think you'd get away with this, did you, Ming? Broker. Disarm them. Throw their guns in that pit. Turn, go ahead. You got here just in time, Flash. Count Coral, you 
you and General Rupi get back to the rocket ship right away. Saran. Saran, keep them covered. Where's the main power switch? Here it is. Our people have gone far enough. <laughs> 